Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Did you already subscribe to my channel? If you already did that, God bless you. Thank you so much for doing it. And if you're yet to subscribe, please kindly consider being a part of this family. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever God gives us a prophetic word, God might just be ministering to you. You will not miss out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And to everybody who is already a part of this channel, God bless you so much. Remember that you're always my prayers. I'm always um, thinking about you and I don't hesitate to bring us a prophetic word each time the Lord lays that in my heart. God gave me another prophetic word today. I am excited about it because it is a prophetic word that brings hope. It is a prophetic word with good news. I want us to pray before I release this prophetic word. Father, we thank you for the release of your word. Father, we thank you because your word brings light and understanding to the, to the simple. I pray, oh God, that as your word comes forth, let it do what it has the capacity to do. You say that your word has the capacity to do what it talks about. I pray may this word find expression in the life of someone. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody under the sound of my voice. God says he's about. there's about to be a replacement. God says there's about to be a replacement. He is replacing the things that were bad in your life. He is replacing it with new ones altogether specifically when the lord gave me this prophetic word as confirmation he led me to the book of isaiah chapter 61 and verse 3 i'm going to be reading from the amplified version of the bible please stay with me and follow to so grant to those who mourn in zion the following this is god, this is what god wants to do to those who have been mourning in any aspect of your life that has been troubling you these are the various things that god says to give them a turban instead of dust on their heads, a sign of mourning. You know, when you have dust on your head, it means you are mourning. If God says he's giving you a turban, it means it's a, it's a symbol of celebration. God says he'll be giving you a, 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 a reason to celebrate instead of you putting dust on your head as a sign of mourning. He says the oil of joy instead of mourning. He's giving you the oil of joy instead of mourning. It means God is replacing mourning. No longer shall there be mourning in the agenda for you. As you believe in this word, the word of the Lord comes forth with the power to do what he talks about. As you believe in these words, as they come out, you are walking in the light of that testimony. No more mourning. God says he's giving you the oil of joy. He is replace, replacing the dust on your head with a turban. He, con he continues by saying, the garment expressive of praise instead of a disheartened spirit. God says he's giving you a garment of praise instead of a heavy spirit. It means no longer are you going to feel that, that weight of heaviness in your spirit. God is giving you a garment of praise. And he went on by saying, so they will be called the trees of righteousness strong and magnificent distinguished for integrity justice and right standing with, and right standing with god the planting of the lord that he may be glorified another bible version says that he is giving us beauty for ashes wherever they have been ashes ashes talks about shame ashes talks about reproach as Ash, ashes talks about disappointment ashes talks about disgrace and everything that is not good god says he is replacing that with beauty hallelujah glory to god i don't know who the lord is ministering to right now but i know that god by this word is talking to somebody he says no more mourning no more mourning this is about to be his god is about to proclaim a favorable year let's just go back one verse let's go back to verse 2 of um, isaiah chapter 61 and hear what god is saying he says to proclaim the favorable year of the lord it means is this in this year it's going to be favorable for you it's not going to be like the years past where you where you would suffer where you would live in perpetual lack and want he says no god is about to proclaim a favorable year of the lord for you and the day of vengeance and retribution of our god this is the time where god takes over your battle and he fights he says vengeance is mine and 
if the affliction came from someone else, if the ashes came from someone else, if the pain came from someone else, now is the time that God is about to fight for you. He's about to take vengeance on your behalf. To comfort all who mourn. God wants to comfort your heart. God doesn't take delight in his children crying. God doesn't take delight when his children suffer. He says he will comfort you. He's going to make it up for the times that you went through all the pain you went through. Were they necessary? That is not even important right now. God wants to comfort you and God wants to replace your ashes with beauty. He wants to re replace your pain. He wants to replace your sadness with joy. Hallelujah. That is what the Lord is doing in this season. And it is my prayer that as you listen to me right now, as you're connected to this life video, I pray that Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1 to 3 shall be manifested in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere you had experienced pain, everywhere you had experienced shame, everywhere you hid your face because of this grace, God is replacing it in the mighty name of Jesus. He has the ability to do it. And God is doing it for you. The woman with the issue of blood, God replaced her pain with joy and celebration. Oh, the man at the pool of Bethesda, God replaced his sickness and gave him a reason to celebrate. And when the people started asking him, who did this to you and why did he did do it for you on a Sabbath day? He said, I do not know. I don't know what you are talking about. What you are talking about is not even important. But all I can say is that the man said to me, rise up, take your bed and walk. The blind man was rejoicing and he said, I don't know why you I don't know why you are persecuting this Jesus. I don't know why you find an offense in him. But all I can say is that once I was blind, but now I can see. God has replaced my blindness with sight. God has replaced my sorrow. He has turned my sorrow into joy. Someone that is about to be your testimony. It is my prayer for you that this word will not just be mere words you listen. That as your spirits are open, they are going to find expression in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will come back with a testimony. You will come back with a new song of praise. You will come back to testify that God has been good to you. And that God has replaced your mourning with celebration. God has changed your song. From a song of sorrow into a song of joy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and keep you perpetually in peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. I look forward to hearing your testimony. I look forward to hearing how God will turn your life and replace those things that cost you pain and give you a reason to celebrate. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you abundantly. Shalom.